reviewer here and this is gonna be a very special video because well it's a very early birthday gift I guess you can call this an unboxing or an unwrapping a stravaganza so there's a lot of cool stuff here well I mean I wouldn't know what it is until I unwrap it so yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, all right then so let's get this shit started uh, thank you once again, and as, as always, you already know who this is, once again, shout out to the Lemon Gamer, once again, for hooking me up with, well, I'll show you, all this, <laughs> and in case you want to know, uh, my birthday, well, it's actually gonna be my 30th birthday kind of soon, I know, wow, <sighs> time flash or fast, man, I remember 10 years ago when I was like 20 years old in 2009, and I wasn't really making videos, like, really back then, but look at me now, and after me turning 30 and going through the rest of my 20s, like, the beginning of my 20s, making YouTube videos, now I here gonna be in my 30s, it's just, it's a brand new journey, man. Now, it's not my birthday yet, obviously, my birthday isn't until May 31st, uh, my birthday's not until May 31st, so, you know, if you want to give a big shout-out to that, that's fine, but as of right now, it's still a bit too early. It's only, like, as I'm recording, it's, like, May 11th, like, right now. So, yeah, not for, like, another, like, couple more weeks until like, my official birthday on May 31st. But anyways, yeah, so, without further ado, let's do this. Now, let's get the stuff that's not really the, um, wrapping, unboxing, what, whatsoever. And let's go to something that's actually already there. Not really an unboxing, let's just show you. Now, even though I already have Samurai Shampoo, uh, he was lucky enough to give me the actual original box sets from Geon Pictures. So what I'm going to show you here is very ultra rare. This is the actual box to the original, yeah my bad, I kind of squish these around here, to the original Geon releases of Samurai Shampoo. So i show you those really quick, bam. So yeah, these, mm, I'm going out, out of order, but you get what I mean. Um, which one I want it? Six, this got to be three. No. What the hell's seven? Um five. Here's volume one, okay. Here's volume one, right here in all its glory. There's the first volume to it, very nice, very nice. Giving you the episode synopsis right here. Very cool. And you got your disc right here. And it even has the freaking DVD tablet thing, that's really cool. Sit back, relax, everyone, because this is going to probably take a while. But I won't try to make this too long of a video regardless. So anyways, here we go. We got Volume 2 right here with some really gorgeous artwork, like always. Now, it's a shame that the Funimation sets don't have that specific same coolness like the Geon box sets did. In my opinion, the Geon box sets for the win, they always create up with these amazing designs. And, of course, there is the second disc to it. Uh, again, you get the little DVD pamphlet, so really, really cool. Very awesome stuff right there. Absolutely love it. Next, we're going to go to Volume 3. Again, I think there was one artwork they used for the actual box here from Funimation. Don't remember which one specific, but I'll have to, like, relook at that. But regardless, though, um, this is still really neat. Volume 3. Very cool. Now, let's go to, uh, uh, let me see here. Let me just put these in order real quick. Okay, got this in order. Now we got volume four. Right here with the art. More of the episode synopsis. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. We got more of the episode synopsis right here. Nice, very nice, very nice. Super cool right there. Very nice, very nice. Yo, Samurai Shampoo is my shit. I love Samurai Shampoo, by the way. Absolutely classic. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. You can check it pretty much out anywhere like nowadays. Remember saying Plue, Volume 5. And more episodes and awesome stuff, as always. Very cool. And, yeah. And we got a nice disc art right there. Really cool. All right. We got Volume 6 right here. Volume 6. 
very very nice stuff right here excellente very nice and we got again nice discard with the dvd set very cool orange and finally we have the last volume volume seven right here volume seven oh wait, i forgot to show the back yep and volume seven that as well and also i gotta show you the uh, actual cover thing for the boxer there you go you got the dice now the back over here looks really good and you have this too very deep stuff Okay, next thing is, I already have this already again, as in our anime series. I already have this one already, but definitely these are the really rare Ultra DVD sets. The cover cases are a lot more different this time around, and oh boy, Funimation, eat your heart out, because holy shit, Geon, man, I completely forgot how awesome they made these box sets. So here we go, this is a very classic anime, grew up with this one. It stars Johnny Ambosh's original role as Bash Stampede. This is how I explained the character. It's time to reveal it. Here it is with Trigun Collector's Edition number one with the bullets around it. It kind of and look at this in the back. Look at this right. I mean, it was actually the front. I'm sorry. That's the bad. This is the front. I have this all screwed up. All right. So there we go. There's Collection One right here. Very cool. And Collection Two. All right. So let's just take a quick look at this real quick. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to open these things. It's not unboxing, that's for sure. So it's not plastic. I'd have to just like, uh, just open it. Uh, yeah, so let's just open it. Oh, sweet. Uh, these are, okay. If there's one thing, this is a little hard to get out though. I'm not gonna lie, these are kind of hard to get out. So these are all the different discs, I believe. Yeah. All right. Wow, damn, holy shit. All right, so, you know, we already saw that. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. Funimation, man, where are you at right now, man? Like, for real. Come on, like, for real. All right, there, there's the first set right here for disc one, and obviously this is the episode title. Let's open the disc up. Like I said, make sure you grab yourself a cup of coffee. Rate, comment, subscribe as always. Click that bell on the squad. Follow every social media plug and gamer tags as well. So here we go. We have... Fuck, I forget her name. It's been so long, but... Yeah, that's her. I do remember her character. It's been so long. Hey, be, well, oh wait, let me take this out. We might have something here. Hold up. Hey, yeah, there's Bash. There he is. All right, cool. So that's disc number one. Now, remember, there's two of these, but it's not that bad, though. Oh, no. Closing these out are going to be a little harder than I thought. One second. Number two. Here we go right here. Bash it in that. Oh, that motherfucker. Ooh, I forget his name, too. It's been so long since I watched this. But, yeah, there's that. Is that, like, a DVD thing you get in there, too? I don't remember. Oh, no, that's a reversible cover. Oh, yeah, you get her, which is the psychic woman. Yeah, her. I, again, I forget it. Oh, what's his name again? God damn it, it's been so long. Oh my god, I really need to rewatch um Trigon. It's been way too long. But I do remember him though. That was his actual good friend too. It's very tragic though. Like it's also really feel worthy. You'll find out later on in the series once you watch it. And I have the movie too, which is the first Blu-ray movie I ever bought. I remember it was the first Blu-ray unboxing I did. Trigon, the uh, disc number three. Episode synopsis, don't need to show you that, because those are usually just the same thing. So, here we go. Got no reversible cover right here. If I want to, that is. Uh, so, yeah. Get that out really quick. And there we go. Really cool. I love, I absolutely love the artwork, son. I love the artwork on this. For an old school DVD set, Gian was like ahead of the time, son. Uh, so let me put this. Okay, quick editing. So there we go, right there. Bam. We have the second half. Ah oh, man. Okay. Let me just uh, whew, get these out real quick. All right. So this is disc number four right here. Oh, this is when the series does get a little much more darker than usual, from what I somewhat remember of it. But yeah. Anyways, more cool looking art. More cool looking art. Reversible cover. Let's take a look at this real quick right here. The discs, the, the discs, I almost said dicks, discs 
are usually like the same. The the discs are usually the same. There's just the reversible covers as like we look at. And disc number five. Oh yeah, this is where it's gonna get real. Obviously the back is still the same thing with the episode synopsis. And we got another reversal. Oh the ja oh the saxophone man. Oh dude. Oh this dude right here, man. Oh dude. Okay, now I really Really need to rewatch this series. There was also a meme they made of this too with the epic sax guy. Uh, the epic sax guy. Oh, um, that's pretty. That's all. Oh, I'm okay. I'm slowly starting to remember this now. But there'll be a good rewatch one day. One day. One day. One day it'll be a good rewatch, and I will rewatch all of this. I have my 30 years on this planet. Me being a 30 year old man. Yeah. Wow. Um, gonna be a real treat rewatching this after the good old days of. Well, not Tsunami, but like Adult Swim's anime block and whatnot. Here it is, the final disc, disc number six, to wrap up the second half of this. Ah, oh, man, dude. Loving this artwork right now. It's so epic. And right, the last of the reversible covers. Right here. And there we go. The gang's all here. And there we go. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Getting these out of the way. Samurai Shin Blue, and we got these here. Now it's time to get to the mini green. All right, so we got the bag. There's something at the very end, which is going to be a card, obviously. We'll read that later. Let's get to, uh, oh, Big Boy. Big Boy over here. It's kind of like Big Boy. What kind of Big Boy? That is the question of the day right here. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, uh, get to some wrap. Oh. Well, all right, I already see it's a PlayStation game. Already. Already a PlayStation game. Oh, wow, my prediction was right. I felt like it was like three games in one, kind of. So let's just get this open here. And what is the first game we got here? <gasps> oh, I think I remember this game. Unslave, I think I remember this game. I think I might have I might have heard of this, but this must be a very rare PS3 game. But let me just uh, take a look real quick. An instruction book of the course. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, looks interesting. Let's see what this is about, though. I won't make the video too long. Legendary Journey. There's a monkey astronomy on the bridge. Oh, it looks like an explorer kind of game. Okay, it's a, it looks like uh, Uncharted, but like different kind of. All right, looks pretty cool. Next, let's go to the second game. Maybe it's a franchise or a game that I kind of recognize. Hmm, can you take a look right here? Murdered Soul Suspect. I think I might have heard this game a couple times before, but I just never took a good quick look at it. Oh, and it's even got the blue PS3 logo thing on it. So this has got to be one of the newer uh, PS3 games, I'm guessing. Yeah, 2014, yeah. Okay, 2014, yeah, definitely. Wow, like kind of like one of the newer model PS3 games where PS3 was almost going to go bye-bye. So, yeah, I can even tell. So, yeah, um, all right. Um, looks pretty fascinating. The hardest murder to solve is your own. Oh, it's like a murder mystery. Like a murder mystery sort of deal. Okay, that looks pretty neat. All right, rare game. Now, let's see what the last one is. See if I actually recognize it. Very interesting choice. Thank you once again to the Lemon Gamer shout out. Oh, I heard of this game. I never played it, but I definitely heard of it. Wanted Weapons of Fate. All right, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the assassin thing. Yeah, okay. This one I do re I do recognize. Never played it myself, but I might eventually. I think I might eventually. I definitely might check this out. Wow, okay. Um, thank you. So there we go. That's the first mystery unwrapped. Which are these three rare games? Never heard of these franchises before. Well, okay, actually, no correction. I heard of this one, but I just never got around to playing to it. Uh, very cool. Thank you once again uh, for that. That's really cool. That's the first mystery unwrapped. Now let's see what this is. I'm going to save the other stuff. Let's go with this one. Hmm. I think I might have a feeling what this one could be. But I could be wrong. I'll find out. Um, yeah. I should have known. It's going to be... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Should have figured. Yeah, it's a figure. 
It's a figure, all right, because I can tell from the pop. It's a figure. What kind of figure, you may ask? Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super. Gohan, Mystic Gohan. I think this is something you can do, like, build your own. So, I don't know what the hell is with the... I think you just, like, build your own or some shit like that. I don't know why they have the arms and the hands there. It's kind of off. I think it's basically because you can actually build, like, parts or some shit like that. I'm not so sure, but I didn't... Oh, you can build them. That's what it is. You can actually build your own things. This is the Dragon Ball Super Series. Nice. You got, um, Super Saiyan... Goku, obviously, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken, Mystic Gohan, Golden Frieza, you can collect all six and build, Kale, ah, oh, man, Kale would have been a really fun to build, Mystic Gohan, alright, cool, these are the character listings that you can get for the Ultra build, that is very cool, I'm going to keep it though in the packaging though, just in case, I may open it later and try this out, but thank you very much, uh, that is really fucking cool, my man, very nice, very nice, very nice, definitely top notch quality here, so you can actually build your own. That's actually really neat. So yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Hey, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm definitely going to give it a shot trying to do that. All right, so that's the second mystery unveiled. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Kind of feels like a comic book-like figure. Well, one way to find out, guys. All right, so let's get to it. I don't know if it's going to be like the most longest unboxing, unwrapping, whatever, but it kind of is. All right. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm back. Okay, so... Is it what I think it is? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, what is this? Pokemon? What is this? A map? Uh... I'm so confused. It, like, maps or something? It is like a map. Oh, like a menu. Oh, Nuka World! Oh, it's the Nuka World from Fallout 4! Oh, that's badass as hell! Okay. Oh, Nuka World, boys. Yeah, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is great, by the way. Fallout 4 is an amazing game. This is the map of the... Uh, yeah, I knew it looked like an amusement park. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, okay, I remember this. This is really cool. All right. That's really cool. All right. So, and I guess this is some kind of poster of every single Pokemon up to date. Unless it's just from, like, the first two generations. Let's find out. So, let's just try opening this. Another poster, I'm guessing, of... Probably Storm, from the way it's big enough, probably OG. Yeah, this is the OG, okay. This is just only the OG stuff. Yeah, this is only OG. Speaking of Pokemon, Detective Pikachu did come out recently today, but I didn't have a chance to see it yet. But, no spoilers. If you've already seen it, no spoilers, please. I definitely... Even though I might have looked at too many trailers, I know, well, not too many trailers, but most of them anyway, because I don't know exactly what it's about. But still, I'm going to have to fix this a bit later on, though, and probably set up in my room somewhere. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so, so much for that. So that's the other mystery on the old. Uh, I got some box stuff right here, but let's get to those last. Let's get to the other small stuff. Let's take a break. Let's take a break and go to the smaller stuff, and then we go to the, the, the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Alright, let's set this out. Okay, so here we go. Alright. Uh, let's try this one. This is small enough as it is. Let's give it a sh- Oh, okay. Must be something here. Uh, it might be this go upside down. This is really- Oh, uh, there we go. Fixed it. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what this mystery is. Ooh. Universe? What is this? Let's find out, shall we? Um... Crap. Oh, it's a movie! Oh, it's a Blu-ray! Oh, hell no, it's a Blu-ray movie! What Blu-ray movie is this? Oh! Oh, they did have a movie on this! For Wanted! Oh, that's what the game was based on! Okay! That's cool! Alright, so there's the Blu-ray to it. Very nice. It's in plastic, so let's unwrap it. All right. Well, that was easy. Okay, back in business. And just get the disc, okay, well. All right, well, that was something. So there's an unboxing right there. No mystery solved, so this can go quite well with the actual, hey, wanted and wanted, very nice. Okay, so next on the list, this looks like, 
something hard like a cover. Ah, I think I might know what this is. Okay. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but we shall see. Okay, I'm back. And, um... Let's just open this real quick. Whew! Okay. Uh, oh! Oh, hello. I want to show that because I might be, uh... Woohoo! Unappropriate. Well, not really inappropriate, but you know what I mean. Dead Man Wonderland. Oh, Dead Man Wonderland. All right, cool. Volume one. I mean, even though I have most of, I think most of this covers what I have for the anime version. I have the complete collection dealt for. But yeah, very cool. Very cool. I would like to show you, but just in case I better not. So yeah, just in case for you know YouTube's sake. So yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For that, that's really cool. All right, so two more things to go. Put the boxes. All right, so let's just get them out real quick, just to, you know, not stay any longer. And then we have a card inside. That will be the last thing we do. This is like a full. You guys are getting like a full length feature presentation of this right here. So you're like getting like a full fledged presentation of this. Two more things, guys, and we are just done. And then we're going to have. A little card with the message in it, and we'll wrap things up from there. So let's see. This one looks a little small. Let's go with small. We go with big boy after that. So here we go. Feels like something. I think I know what it is. I guess the soft rifle from my feel for the material. I bet I think I know what this is. Hey, we unwrapped it. Let's go take a peek. Funko. Oh, I called it. It's a pop figure. I should have figured from the feeling of it. But what kind of pop figure? <gasps> Oh, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, it's the scuba diver Crash Bandicoot from Crash Bandicoot 3 War. Ready? <clears throat> Crash Bandicoot War. Yeah, baby. Crash Bandicoot War. Devil one top uh, PS1 games right there. Even though it's a little bit easier than the first two games, but it's still really fun nonetheless. Definitely had some really cool variety. Now I can definitely put this with my uh, collection of pop figures once again. Yeah, yeah, so awesome sauce. Thank you very much, man. Been a big fan of Crash ever since the PS1 games. I've always wanted to get this one, but I would love to get like, 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 see here, like the original original. Eventually one day I will have the also the clean Crash Bandicoot and the other ones as well. I'm going to try to collect like, and Cortex looks a little weird. And Uka Uka is, a, no, Uka Uka looks pretty cool, actually. Coco's eyes are just like, what the hell? All right, the crash one and that one, again, from three is really nice. All right, so that's cool. Thank you once again for that. And this could be another one of these things, but regardless, though, here we go. This is the last one, guys, the last one, and we are going to be calling it an unwrapping, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, a extravaganza. So here we go. Um, all right. I think I can already tell what this is, so... Yeah. And now, what's in the box? All right, here we go. This is it. And I should have figured. Yeah, I knew it. It's going to be another one of these. Oh. What, 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 what? Is it really, though? That's... Okay, who is it going to be? The other Crash. Like, the one with the sunglasses, with the bike. Or maybe another character like Cortex or Coco. Uga Uga. Well, let's find out. All right, here we go. Not looking, not looking. That's it. And, uh, ooh. Oh, it's Coco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coco Jumbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Coco. Here we go. Coco Jumbo, baby. All right. JoJo reference for the win. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Coco Bandicoot. Yeah. Looks pretty cute, not gonna lie though. Alright, up close it does look pretty cute. So there we go. Wow, okay. Brother and sister unite. So crash. That's cool. Thank you very much for these. Um yeah. Um yeah. I uh, never had the I mean I had the opportunity, but well I didn't expect that at all. So two Crash Bandicoot Pop figures. Alright. In the Crash Bandicoot series. Nextly, hopefully, it will be. Now I just need the original OG Crash. I need the one with the bike, the biker outfit one, then Uka Uka, then maybe Cortex, but looks a little off. But I'll probably get him regardless. But yeah, thank you very much. 
once again. Oh, baby. Okay, then we're going to get to the card. Uh, then we're just going to do a quick recap of all the stuff here. And then that's it. We're done. All right, so now let's get to the message right here. Okay. All right. So here we go. <laughs> I like the little um, thing right here. It says over 9,000. Very nice. Very nice detail. Very nice. My Hero Academia. I'm guessing these is just... Oh, okay, yeah. So it's going to be like a whole bunch of anime. Because, you know, I'm a big otaku fan like that. DBZ. What does this say? The Punch Man. One Punch Man. Oh, One Piece. I like how you put the ones in the One Piece. One Punch Man. That's awesome. That's all right. That's pretty cool. And um, Full Metal Alchemist. FLCL. Nice. Okay. So happy birthday, Mike, a.k.a. the Ninja Reviewer. Yeah. Okay. That's my real name. Mike, so there you go. Hey, mystery solved. Now you know my, well, that's my short way to say it. My full name is actually, Michael is my actual full name, but yeah. Anyways, aka the Ninja Reviewer. All right. Um, wow, hold on, let me pause this photo. Here we go, we have happy birthday. All right. May your birthday be happy in the year ahead, bright with joy. Well, yeah, cheers to that, man. Cheers to that, indeed. You know, big 3-0, man. Big 3-0 already. Um, well, not already, but very soon, though. So just living it up, enjoying the last final days of my 20s already. Starting my new journey quite soon. To Mike, wishing you a great and happy birthday. So stay strong. Oh, sorry, I know it's a little bit brother. So stay strong over 9,000. <laughs> Wow! Watch out for the Kame watch out for the Kamehameha, Kamehameha, oh, the Kamehameha. But really, have the best. But okay, I know. But for really, like for reals though, I guess I'm gonna say, have the best birthday, my friend, the Ninja Reviewer, for your best friend Anthony, which is his real name, by the way. So yeah, that's his real name. Hey, I know a mystery soul. Real name, um, Anthony. Um, not gonna say. Well, well. I don't know if some people may know his last name from his YouTube channel, but regardless, aka the Lemon Gamer. Enjoy. Oh, you know I enjoy this indeed. Um, wow, this was something I didn't expect to be put all together. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. And I know this is a pretty damn again long, almost half an hour. God damn over a half hour of this video i mean okay not an hour but like close to like thir half hour aka 30 minutes i never had an unboxing video that goes on for over 30 minutes that's crazy but yeah recap there's the pop figures right here pop figures gonna save this really nice birthday card right over here gonna save that very nice dead man wonderland manga blu-ray movie for wanted with the game wanted for ps3 based off that uh, murderer, uh, soul, suspect. Again, murder mystery type game. Never, this is probably an underrated gem that I've never heard of, but definitely gonna check it out. Looks interesting. I like games like this. Looks like an adventure game. Very cool. So, yeah, there's that. There's Trigon Part 1 and Part 2 limited edition versions from the old school Geon days. Um, the Dragon Ball Super Mystery Gohan plus the Build Yourself thing. Um, Samurai Shampoo box set, the old school Geon version. Uh, the posters, which are the Pokemon ones. And the Tilt the World. Uh, the Tilt the World. Nuka World, thank you. That's what it's called. Nuka World. So, yeah, there we go. Um, wow. Okay. Thank you guys once again for sticking through all the way to the end. Thank you all so much. And I guess if you want to wish me a happy early birthday, then let me know. I mean, it was either this. I'm debating better to put this out like now or wait until officially my birthday actually starts. But this will be early, I guess, enough. Because then, then well, it is the month of May and my birthday is coming up. So, yeah. All right. So if you definitely want to do that, too, that will be great as well, I guess. So, yeah, uh, thank you all so much once again for sticking on by. Remember, you know what to do. Click that bell, you join the squad, you subscribe to my channel, follow all my social media plugins and all my gamer tags for you gamers out there. 
So, yeah. And also, um, since I won't be seeing you for your birthday, since I know you're busy and I'm busy doing my own thing for our birthdays, at least we got to see each other, you know, before that. Just want to say to you, man, uh, have a very early happy 30th birthday to you, man. Um, yeah, cheers to a brand new journey, starting off a new, clean, uh, tense year. Now we're going into the 30 years right now, so that's pretty insane. So, you keep on training, keep on getting stronger, man. I know I already am, raising my power level up, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Oh, man. But, yeah, um, yeah, bro, um, I hope you have a really awesome and safe, very important, very happy and safe uh, 30th birthday. Definitely enjoy. Go out and have fun. Live it up. Live up your last days of your 20s, man. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing with me. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, thank you all so much. Remember, as always, if you want to check out, you know, make sure you stay tuned for my live reactions slash reviews, more unboxings like these, and, you know, pretty much everything else under the sun. So, Peace, soul, love, chicken, grease, and the sky is the limit. Anime market fans keep supporting what? Uh, wow, okay. Been a while. You read and you watch. Right here. And right here as well. Awesome. So, all right. That's it. Signing off for real this time. Bye. Also, oh, I, saw, I forgot to do this too. So today is your birthday, I'm actually going to do this. Don't forget to drink your daily deuce, deuce, dose of boost milk. <laughs> uh, good old fashioned boost milk. If you actually know what actually what I'm referencing, then congrats. So yeah, anyways, bye, peace.